Thank you for coming our presentation. I'm Kei Ando, belonging to Kobelco Steel in Japan. I'll talk about coastal concrete structure design against destruction by impulsive wave. At the beginning, I'll show you the contents of my presentation. First, I'll talk about the background and purpose. Second, I'll propose a design method. Third, I'll explain our experiments to confirm the design procedure, and then show the results. At last, I'll talk about the conclusion. The design method for impulsive wave pressure with very short duration time is very important to prevent material destruction, but it's not established yet. Though, when we look at those pictures, we can imagine there is a possibility the coastal concrete structures will be destroyed by waves or tsunami. The problem is the design method for coastal structure against destruction by impulsive wave has not been clarified. For example, this figure is referred from the technical standards for coastal protective facilities in Japan, but how to design this parapet? How to design this parapet is not described, only a design example is shown. So, in this study, we propose a simple method to design structure uh, for impulsive wave pressure and confirm the validity of the method by large firm experiments. This figure shows the proposed procedure to design coastal concrete structures against impulsive wave pressure based on the existing methodology of impacting design by Ishikawa et al. A simple evaluation of impact response in a single mass system problem was applied. The ratio of duration time and natural period determines whether to examine by impulsive damage or dynamic expansion. If the ratio is smaller than quarter, we should examine by impulsive damage. If the ratio is larger, larger than quarter, we should examine by dynamic expansion. In the latter case, by dynamic expansion, M static times L max is compared with the bending strength. M static means the value of bending moment calculated by regarding the dynamic load at a certain times as a static load. L max means the value of maximum of dynamic expansion. How to calculate these values are shown in the next slide. This slide shows how to calculate M static and L max. We regard the time series of impulsive wave pressure as the graph on the left. We determine the P0 as the pressure becoming constant after a peak. Then we can calculate alpha, T0, and beta 2. The P0, alpha, T0, and beta are substituted to the formula on the right. Then we can calculate dynamic magnif magnification L. M static is calculated at the time of T1. By this method, we can evaluate simply without dynamic analysis. To confirm the validity of the design procedure, we conducted hydraulic experiments and applied the results to it. From this slide, I'll explain our experiment. In order to eliminate the problem of similarity law, we conducted the experiments on a large scale. The firm is 184 meters long, 3.5 meters wide, and 12 meters deep. We used a piston type wave plate and changed amplitude, period, water depth in front of the seawall models and so on, variously. Three L shaped concrete models with a width of 1.12 meters were installed in the width direction of the flume, like this.
while the two models at both sides were 2.15 meters high, the one at the center was 1.65 meters high, and concrete plates were attached on the front so that the height was the same as the adjacent models, like this. As a result, when the waves collide, a large bending moment is generated at 0.5 meters from the top. Here. The concrete plate is from 6 to 10 centimeters thick and the strength is over 22.8 newton per square millimeter, developed in 7 days. Reinforcing words are D6 of SD295A and the distance between the birds is 75 or 150 mm or unreinforced. Wave pressure gauges and strain gauges were attached to the models as shown in the figure like this. And this is, these are the strain gauges. These are the wave pressure gauges. From this slide, I'll explain the results. First, I'll calculate tau per t. The natural period t for concrete plates with a thickness of 6 cm and the main reinforcing bar pitch of 75 mm is calculated as 0.0. .0 3 seconds. The duration time tau when regular waves collide is at least 0.12 seconds. That was measured at 0.5 meters, 0.3 meters, and 0.1 meters from the top. In all experimental conditions, tau per t was larger than quarter. Then, dynamic expansion is applied. Next, the maximum dynamic expansion Lmax, M static, and M static times Lmax are calculated. This figure shows the time series of calculated mating moment and measured strain and dynamic expansion when regular waves collide. The bending moment is the value at 0.5 meters from the top and calculated from the measured pressures. M static is decided as the bending moment when the pressure at 0.1 meters from the top becomes constant after a peak. The strain was measured in silver at 0.5 meters from the top. The only difference between the upper and the lower figure is the situation of collision, for example, wave breaker type. However, only in the lower figure, residual strain occurred. From the upper figure, the maximum dynamic expansion in max is 3.14 and M static times L max is 2.17 kN meters per meter. From the lower figure, L max is 7.02 and M static times L max is 9.62 kN meters per meter. Comparing M static times L max with bending strength 3.5 kN meters per meter when the reinforcing bar will yield. The calculation result of the upper figure fit the reality that no residual strain occurred. That is shown in the upper figure. The calculation result of the lower figure also fit the reality 
that the reinforcing bars yield that is shown in the in the lower figure. This figure shows the results of all experimental cases with tension reinforcement ratio equal 0.99%. The red plots and line shows the results of residual strain. The blue plots and line shows the results of no residual strain. The horizontal axis represents D. D equals M static times L max per bending strength. The vertical axis represents cumulative distribution of D. This is the probability of D just in this experiment. But the shape of the blue line doesn't change much in the range where D is large. And the shape of the red line doesn't change much in the range where D is small. About 90% of D of no residual strain are distributed below 1.2. About 10% of D of residual strain are distributed below 0.5. In the actual design, it is necessary to determine the allowable probability and D from the importance of the structure. This slide shows the conclusion. In this study, first, we propose the procedure to design coastal concrete structures against impulsive wave pressure based on the existing methodology of impact design. Then, we conducted the experiments on a large scale and applied the results to the procedure and evaluated them probabilistically. By then, we confirmed the validity and the usability of the design procedure. The key point is estimation of dynamic expansion Lmax and bending moment M static to consider impulsive wave pressure. Thank you very much for kind attention.